Hello, Brenton with All Out Octane here, and in this video I'm going to open up a few G-Case cars, Hot Wheels G-Case cars that I was able to find recently. I haven't found all the mainstays yet, but I did find uh, the Pagani Wyra, so I'm going to go ahead and open that with the Brembo livery. It is in red, and this is actually a cool looking car. I was glad to add another Pagani to the collection. Uh, obviously they came out with a convertible recently, but now we have the Hard top again, the Wyra with Brembo livery. Yep, red, top tampo, side tampo. Has a very Ferrari esque kind of look to it, but I know it's not. It's a Pagani. Pretty cool. Next up is the 66 Chevy Nova with the flames, Hot Wheels, part of the Hot Wheels flames. So it has top tampo and side tampo. And uh, there is this one for you guys. Great looking vehicle. I love the uh, large back tires on this one. It's fantastic. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Fair Lady 2000 in yellow, with the two on the side. This is probably the best livery on this car yet. I like this livery. Color is great. The black stripes are great. They did well with this car. And it's, uh, it's a little darker in person. The, the camera is picking up it a little lighter. Uh, but if you do find this one, this is a fantastic car to get. If you're a collector of JDM, or if you like uh, older sports cars, this is a great one to collect. Next up we have the 2011 Dodge Charger RT in blue. It looks a little purple on camera, but it is more blue in person. Uh, <laughs> Mopar products, Dodge products. It has the Mopar uh, insignia on the hood, it has the Mopar on the side. Uh, it does say Dodge RT, uh, no side, no rear tampos, just side and top. But always nice to have a Charger as part of the collection. Uh, they are cool looking cars. All right, next we'll go with the red 49 Volkswagen Beetle pickup in red. And this obviously came out in blue, so this is just a recolor. It is new for 2019, but the, this is the recolor one, so first came out in blue. So there is the red one. Front tampo, side tampo, does have a little gas tank thingy in the bed. It's a pretty nifty vehicle. Almost looks like a fire truck. Next up, this is probably my favorite, the 67 Chevelle SS396. Now, a while ago, probably around 2013 or so, they came out with a Chevy SS that had a very similar uh, tempo scheme to it. So it had kind of, you know, the stickers down the side. Um, but this one is awesome. It's very clean on red. And I believe they've actually come out with another one that has stripes down the side. If you guys know, let me know. I I'm, might have to dig it out of my collection to see if, if that makes sense. Uh, but this has a lot of cool stickers down the side. It's a classic muscle car. It does remind me of a weekend drag racer. Uh, that kind of like a pro street kind of thing. So, really cool car. And then next up is the 32, 32, 92 Ford Mustang. Uh, it's part of the Speed Blur series, so they're gonna have the gray tires on this car. Uh, this is not the Super Treasure Hunt. I was not able to find the Super Treasure Hunt. I may still yet, I do not know. But here we go, there's the 92 Ford, part of the Speed Blur series. Large back tires again kind of like a drag racing uh, type car. It's very solid. This is a very solid casting. Uh, a lot of metal going on in the body. No top tampos, just sides. All right, and then we are also going to open up the Matchbox super fast. I, uh, they came back out with the number two and the number six, so it finishes off the collection. They do not have any of the information on the back. So, uh, I, I was able to pick those up. That's another video. It had the Honda S2000, uh, a Mercedes, a uh, Land Rover, which was my favorite, and it had a Volkswagen bus. So now we have the super fast cars. Here's the little box that it comes with. And here is the car itself. Uh, the rims are all right. Well, no, now that I'm getting it out of the package, the rims are okay. Could have been a little better. I guess it does kind of mimic a 
uh, a hybrid type car, but uh, the doors aren't too hard to open. It's not too bad. They don't feel like they're going to break off. It'd be funny if I did while they're on camera, but yeah, so they have opening doors. kind of has a pretty detailed interior and it's pretty hard to see, but they are plastic, so it's a little bit different blue than the rest of the blue on the car. I don't know if it's kind of, it's kind of captured on camera. You can see how it's a little matte versus a little bit more gloss on the paint. It does have uh, rear tampos, does have front tampos. It's, so it's a very nicely done car. Uh, and it's it's well done. It's better than the main line as far as paint paint wise goes. But yeah, plastic doors. So uh, in order to get that effect, they had to make those plastic. So next we're gonna go with the Chevrolet Corvette in white. And there were quite a few of these, I think. I found these as soon as they hit the pegs. And uh, it comes, uh, they're coming out again with more of the previous releases, but they're also, I think, sending at least two to a box of each of these um, Corvettes and i8s. So there we go, there's the box. And I actually have been putting them in the box to kind of keep them a little nicer. I don't have a lot of cases at the moment to store all my cars, so they kind of just end up in large boxes loose. And uh, that's not good for paint. So this hood on the Corvette is actually metal. So that's kind of a, a change of pace. At least it feels metal, looks metal. Kind of has a little bit of the same gloss. Yep, but there we go. Front opening just like it does in real life. Detailed engine, obviously the LS motor, I believe, yep. And then uh, rear tampos, front tampos, uh, side for the thing. So yeah, this is a very nice car, very nice casting, uh, large rear tires. So there we go. Those are the Matchbox Super Fast, the newest ones that just came released. I don't know why they're out of order. If you guys know, let me know. And then there's some of the GK's cars. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and until the next one, happy hunting.